Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to check out a video of Dimash performing a Chinese song entitled Wan Li Meng Tong Xin or in English Thousands of Miles a Common Dream. Unlike other Dimash videos that I have previously reviewed where I watched the video and uh, reacted simultaneously. I watched this video a couple of times before I started filming. I don't know why I did that, but I just did. Having said that, I think a better English translation for uh, this title would be sharing a common dream despite being 10,000 miles apart. But that would be too long for a title, wouldn't it? So before we get into the video, I would like to once again invite everyone to follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. Since the original video is from a mainstream TV network in China, I would need to alter it just a bit to avoid potential copyright issues which may cause this video to be blocked. So this is a precautionary measure that I need to take. So I hope you guys understand. And if you are looking for the original video, this is definitely not it. To those who wish to enjoy the full video without any alteration, without any interruption, without my comments, please feel free to head to my description box and I'll put the original video link there. Because as always, I will be pausing the video in between to uh, give my honest observations and analysis. Another option is you can watch the original video first, then come back to this one for my comments. All right, so without further ado, let's get things started. I just need to mention this real quick. Based on the Chinese characters flashed on screen, this is an original song of Dimash and not a cover. But please do let me know down at the comment section if I am wrong. If this is a cover and not a Dimash original. Because that was the initial thing that popped into my head. That is the question in my mind. Is this an original or a cover? First impression when I heard him in the song. Um, his diction is very clear. It has significantly improved by leaps and bounds, actually. Because for non-Chinese speaking people, um, there are a lot of hard to enunciate words in those two verses alone, let alone the rest of the song. But he's doing a great job. Also, he's starting the song with these soft, low notes that sound warm and tender, which kind of lures you in. One of his assets is his sincerity. 
His interpretations are always very sincere, honest, and pure. For other singers, you, 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 you start getting sucked into their story as they go along, as they build up the song. So it takes a while. But in his case, once he opens his mouth, not only does his glorious voice fly out, but he also bears his soul. So you cannot help but believe in every word coming out of him from the get-go. And that is an asset. And you just want to know where this would eventually lead you to. Did you guys catch that very subtle flip he did in Xiang Zhi Wu Yuan Jin? Um, I think I have to replay that part for you because obviously I cannot do it exactly the way he did it. He is Dimash, for heaven's sake. Wait. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think you need to put on your earphones uh, for you to be able to hear that because it is extremely subtle. But I think that's a beautiful expression. Let's continue. Also, for this last part, where he was almost whispering, yet giving us crescendo at the same time. I think that's absolutely wonderful. He's making sure that each phrase, each phrase that he is releasing has emotions. Nothing is empty. Let's move on. I'm always amazed every time he does that, shifting from one tone to another flawlessly. Now, why is this important? Because of these silky smooth transitions, when we are listening to the song entirely without pausing, like of course what I'm doing right now, we get to just concentrate on the emotions without getting distracted by the abrupt change in tones. Now speaking of pauses, if you do not like a lot of pauses, a lot of comments in between, again, please do not hesitate to check out the original video link in my description box, okay? Aside from being an impressive singer with so many technical abilities up his sleeves, Dimash is one of the few singers who are so expressive that whatever he sings, it doesn't matter if it's high or low or somewhere in between. You just can't help but appreciate him because of the sheer beauty of his tone and his heartfelt renditions, like what he just did right now. And you gotta love his stage presence. It's always on point. Now, 
while the video is focused on the instrumentalists, I gotta say this real quick. Personally, I'm not a fan of traditional Chinese instruments. Never has been. I know it's weird because I'm Chinese, but I gotta say, because of the mash, I have this newfound appreciation for them. And that's the influence of an amazing interpreter. Because of his songs, I now appreciate the beauty of these instruments. Let's continue. To my non-Chinese viewers out there, you might be wondering why this verse uh, that he is singing is literally the same as the very first verse. Now, in most English songs, only the refrains and choruses have the same lyrics. But for traditional Chinese songs, this is very typical. The lyrics are almost always repeated within the song. So, if the singer is performing it in the exact same way, it may start to sound monotonous and repetitive. Having said that, you will notice that he sang this verse with the same lyrics very differently from the first time he did it. His voice now sounds stronger, less breathy, which is a completely different color from his delivery earlier. It's remarkable how the lyrics went so well with the roundness of his voice and um, the richness of its quality, not to mention the strength. And I don't think this is a coincidence. My personal interpretation for this is, in the first verse, he was just sharing with us the circumstance he was in. And now, he is actually ready to take action to pursue this person 10,000 miles away. Two words that came to me as I'm listening to him in this part, conviction and determination. Let's move on. Most of the songs I've heard from him so far are all about sadness, grief, separation, yearning, and heartache. And I think he is being given this kind of songs primarily because of his remarkable ability to translate these words from mere lyrics to an actual expression, which then becomes a story that is very believable to the listeners. That's the true essence of being an interpreter of songs. And you'd think that he has had 50 years of life experiences to be able to do that. Just amazing.
in his other songs, I often hear a lot of、um, desperation in his interpretation. But this time, I can still hear him. I'm not sure if this is the right term, but I can still hear him yearning for this person. I think that's kind of accurate. I can still hear him yearning for this person, but there is a sense of hope behind it. Not so much like I need to see you now. I need to see you now, but more of I need to see you, and someday we will. And this just goes to show that he is not a one-trick pony. That he doesn't need to do all those vocal acrobatics all the time to get the emotions across. Wow, that was absolutely a stunning performance. Still hitting that soprano high note, like he always does, but this time in a more gentle and tender way. Not the usual、um, hard-hitting intensity he often delivers. What else can I say? He really has full control over this God-given majestic voice, and the way he sang this song, the way he delivered it,、um, it was romantic, subdued, but at the same time powerful without going overboard. So, if you ask me,、um, that's actually a complicated mix, but he did it. He just did. He proved to us all that it can be done, that it is not an impossible combination. So, what do you guys think of this song? Do we have the same analysis and interpretation? Please let me know down at the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. With that, I thank everyone for watching, and please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Two. Stay safe, happy, and healthy, everyone. See you again next time. Bye.